All right, Jim Allister joining us now from the TUV. Jim, morning to you. Good morning. Well, you've got the T- the DUP. They're certainly not buckling under any pressure. They say they will not be blackmailed and they are going to protect the full-time reserve. Well, we'll see. Of course, it's only a few days since they were telling us that the preservation of the full-time reserve is a precondition to uh, the devolution of policing and justice. Now, Jeffrey Donaldson already this morning is moving the goalpost to say the precondition is public confidence so that they can downgrade the issue of the police reserve. But look, let's be very, very clear. There is politics at play in what the Chief Constable disgracefully is proposing in the disbandment of the police reserve. Operationally, there could not possibly be a justification for what he intends because contrary to the anticipation of Patton uh, under whose dogma the reserve was to go, We do not have the level of peace and normality on our streets that they promised would be there. What we do have is a rising upsurge in Republican terrorism. Uh, In those circumstances, where on earth could there be the operational justification to, at a stroke, remove 10% of your already diminished frontline officers? It just could not possibly exist. And therefore, I'm not surprised, and I do commend him for his courage in saying it, that this morning uh, the Federation spokesman says that such a decision is likely to increase the risk to officers. Now, if we're in that territory... There is no way a chief constable is going to knowingly increase the security risk to his own officers. He's not going to do it. I'm using the words of Terry Spence, who said that it's increasingly, it's looking increasingly likely but this will increase the risk to officers. Now, inevitably, when you have already an inadequate diminished number of officers, uh, you have a rising upsurge in Republican terrorism, and you heard Terry Spence quote the number of explosive devices and everything else, to reduce the number of officers who are capable of protecting the police and the community that they exist to protect, you are going to increase the risk. Jim Alistair, let's cut to the chase. Where where is the operational justification? One can see very clearly a political inclination. Let's cut to the chase with you, Jim Alistair, because it's very easy to snipe from the sidelines. The DUP are fighting this. They say they will not buckle under any pressure. They say they will not be blackmailed. And they say they're going to protect the full-time reserve. Now, if you were in power, what would you do differently than the DUP is currently doing? Well, I wouldn't be in power with IRA Sinn Féin. I wouldn't be in power uh, with people such as Alex Maskey and Martin McGinnis. What would you do different? What would you do differently to resolve this issue? How would you fight for the full time reserve if the chief constable has said it's going? Sorry, we wouldn't be in the shenanigans of a political arrangement which de- depends for its operation on a quid pro quo at every turn between the two factions because it is so dysfunctional and workable that that's the only way it operates. So what are you and doing to fight for the full-time reserve? Sorry? What are you doing to fight for the full-time reserve? By exposing the utter lack of justification for any possible threat to the police reserve, by underscoring that there can be no operational reason for the removal, and therefore pointing out that what is at work here is pandering politically, pandering to the dogma of Patton, pandering to... IRA Sinn Féin's demand... DUP doesn't sound like it's pandering to anything. They're saying they will not be blackmailed. The DUP's long past pandering. Uh, they're in government with IRA Sinn Féin and they're in the process of... We're talking about the right, full-time the reserve process. going. You can peddle right. that line all you want, right. Jim Allister, but let's focus this morning. We're talking about the issue of the full-time reserve and the leader of the DUP, Peter Robinson, has publicly stated that uh, Republicans cannot resort to blackmail and negotiations will come to a halt if they even try it. Yes. And uh, let's see if he sticks to that. You, you also have in your programme a man, Jeffrey Donaldson, who said uh, in the House of Commons and elsewhere that there was no question of policing and justice ever being devolved so long as there's an IRA Army Council. So, like, sadly, we all know uh, what affirmations from the DUP can in the end amount to. Jeffrey Dawson? I trust they will stick to their guns on this particular matter. Will you, Jeffrey Dawson? I trust the police reserve will be made a breaking point on this issue. Is it a breaking uh, let, point, Jeffrey Donaldson, on this issue? There's the challenge from Jim Allister. Is it? Can you give a cast-iron guarantee that this is a deal-breaker? Well, we've made it absolutely clear, and, and let me, let me, uh, Jim said that I downgraded the position of the full-time reserve. I most certainly haven't. 
what we have said is that public confidence is essential if there's going to be policing and justice devolution and that one of the central issues um, in assessing public confidence was the retention of a full-time reserve. So yes, categorically, if the Chief Constable is going to scrap the full-time reserve and take 400 uh, police officers um, uh, away from uh, the uh, uh, fight against terrorism, then that is a major issue for us. Is it a deal-breaker? It, well, it, it, until it's resolved, we're not going anywhere fast, that's for sure. Is it a deal breaker? Um, it's one of the deal breakers, uh, Stephen. There are other issues that are deal breakers as well. It's so, not the only one. Okay, there are, so, uh, so, the, so the to be clear, around. because Jim Allister has challenged you this morning, and I yeah, want to be clear... I, I have no problem in responding to that. I want to be clear what your response is. If the full-time reserve goes, will policing and justice happen? I don't think there'll be the public confidence to enable it to happen, and there are other issues as is well. Is that a no? Sorry? Is that a no? If policing and justice goes, will policing and... If, if, if the full-time reserve goes, will policing and justice and the devolution of it be halted by the DUP? Well, it is halted at the moment, Stephen, so let's be clear about that. It's not happening at the moment. Yes, we have let's said have it a clear answer, happen. Jeffrey. And let, let's let's have a clear answer. Let, let me finish, please. He's asking um, you for a clear answer, Geoffrey uh, Dawson. Yeah, and I'm going to give you a clear answer, Stephen, if you let me finish. There are a number of issues. The full-time reserve, PPWs, parades, uh, and uh, uh, the part-time reserve. I understand that, but let's, there are a number let's of focus issues. this and morning them, Stephen, on the full-time reserve. Them, hear me out. All of them, Stephen go towards building public confidence. If the full-time reserve is disbanded, do I think that uh, the policing and justice devolution will proceed? No, it w- I don't believe that it will. Because I don't believe, not only will the DUP uh, not agree to it, but the public confidence will not be there to make it happen. That's absolutely clear. That has been our position. Well, there you go, Jim Allister. You challenged right. him and he's told you he has said it will not happen. Right. If Jeffrey Donaldson is saying that the preservation of the police reserve is a freestanding precondition, that no matter what else is put in place, if that is not met as a precondition, policing and justice is over, then he needs to begin to face the realities in the light of what the Chief Constable said, that policing and justice, therefore, devolution of it is over. Uh, and stop shilly shallying about with this, and let's begin to make that very clear, and let's move on. He's in there fighting uh, for this, you're not. Well, sorry, he's in there fighting and giving. You know, this is the same party which has been supposed to be fighting on all sorts of issues and at every turn has rolled over on each and every one of them. Now, this morning's affirmation is that they're going to stand on this issue. I trust they do. I I wish for nothing more, but that they would stand on this issue because I, above all, do not want to see policing and justice devolved to an executive and an assembly where Irish and Fein hold sway. And have you met the Chief Constable to tell him what you think, Jim Allister? If this is one way of stopping it, then so much the better. Have you met the Chief Constable to tell him what you think? Are you in there fighting for anything? I'm meeting the Chief Constable on Wednesday.